Hi guys, Kate from Purely Paperless, and I just wanted to take a quick second to show you today um, how to make a checklist in Evernote. So if you go ahead and you open up your Evernote here, um, I kind of have mine open so that you can see, you know, what a checklist would look like. Now you'll notice it looks a little weird right here, but if you open it up, um, you can see that it kind of spreads out nicely and um, I like to use these for just about everything. Um, AR tests, keeping track of who handed in forms, um, keeping track of I think mean, really little things like have I taken notes on them recently, have I checked in with them. Um, I just find that they're pretty handy for me and it has the added benefit of, you know, being able to access it anywhere, any room in the building, from my house. You know, if I get an email from a parent, I can just check it at home. Um, so this is really, really quick and easy. Uh, one thing that I like to do, though, is um, I like to start by making just a quick list of my kids' names. So if my name, you know, if I had Kate and Sarah, Sam, Jordan... Jacob. I might do these things and then just go ahead and highlight them and put the checkbox, insert that in. So then, you know, I might do this and just save this as a checklist roster names, you know, whatever, um, just so that every time I need to make a new checklist, I can just copy and paste that into the new document. So now let's say that I wanted to create a new checklist um, for homework completion and I want to track this over the next um, let's say six weeks I want to track this for six weeks so I'm going to make six columns two rows I like to use a table because I think it looks just a little bit neater um, so I'm going to go ahead and paste some of this information in here now um, what I really like about this is that um, I can do this on my phone if I'm grading papers or walking around the room or something. Um, you know, I can just do this on the run. So I might put, you know, week one, week two, week three. Um, I prefer <laughs> that they're all, you know, kind of um, in a row, that they're neatly organized. I'm a little type A, um, and so, you know, I like it to look nice and neat and clean, so that's why I use the tables to help it stay organized, but um, you certainly don't have to do it that way. I've just found that that works best for me. So um, another great way to use Evernote to keep track of information from your classroom on the go, I love to use this too for um, shopping lists so that you know I can kind of add to it throughout the day as I think of something and then check it off at the store and I don't you know forget it on the counter or something on my way out the door. So um, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you for our next series. Um, pretty much paperless planning.